Catherine McGinnis. Hey, thanks very much. I was really afraid, actually. Oh, feedback. Feedback. Oh, it's the right. My right, your right? Your other, your right. My right. Excuse us, please. <laughs> so yeah, I was actually really afraid you were going to, oh, I'm this way. Yeah. Uh, I was really afraid you were going to put this up in here and I was going to talk about being too high. Um, oh, wow. Hello, welcome. I hope you like our new um, background that we have. We've added some um, office work experience to the background here for those of you who've been here before. Yeah, I, I am a zoologist and um, I suppose one of the first things I've been a zoologist is you explain to absolutely everybody, you don't work in the zoo. You don't shovel shit for a living, you know, especially your elderly relations who are wondering why you went to college and, you know, why aren't you, you know, wearing kind of wellies every day. So that's a bit of a problem with being a zoologist. But one of the really things that really gets to me is everyone expects you just to love animals. Like love, and you're, you're just passionate about every single animal out there. And the thing is, there are loads of animals and they're just assholes. They are just some really, really freaking nasty fucking animals out there. And they're gonna fuck you up and they don't care. And the worst thing is, it's usually the ugly ones, the ones that don't get the press. They're the lovely ones. They're the ones we have to look after and keep. It's the really fluffy, cute bunnies, you know, who are just wankers and just fucking wreck habitats and bounce around the place and just fuck things up. And you see, then you get all these other things and they're just so cute and lovely, and they're, but they're flipping useless. Koalas. Co frickin' koalas. Okay, right, koalas. First of all, there isn't a collective noun for koalas. Why? Because they don't fucking go anywhere, that's why. They stay where they are. So why would you need a collective noun? Because they don't do anything. They sleep. They sleep for 18 to 22 hours a day. So basically, awake for possibly about two hours and eat. Eating what? I'm sure the class knows. Eucalyptus. Yeah, absolutely. Over 700 species of eucalyptus in the world. How many can koalas eat? Yeah, because eucalyptus is poisonous and they're one of the very few animals that can eat it so what they have to do is they have to sleep it off sleep off the poison wake up eat more poison sleep off the poison you know what the fuck i mean like all these millions of years of evolution to just basically be a picky eater and eat poisonous shit why why what you know it's just a freaking waste of dna i mean other marsupials at least they're a bit of crack okay koalas they can bounce around no Kangaroos, kangaroos can run around the place. They can gut you with their back legs. They're brilliant. Uh, wombats, brilliant name. Cubic shaped pew, poo. I mean, cube poo. Oh, that doesn't get a clap. I'm sorry, but cube poo, cube poo. You know, koalas. Uh, yeah, go on the poo. Koalas, sleep, eat eucalyptus. Nearly kill themselves, eat the eucalyptus. And not only that, but it doesn't even give them that much nutrition. It's like the same as having like a bowl of cornflakes every day. You know, like, unless you're a fucking Kardashian or something, that's not gonna do you. So, you know, I, oh, but like dolphins. Now, anyone who knows me knows I fucking hate dolphins. Oh my God, dolphins, right? Oh, yeah, they're lovely and they're, ah, no, fucking wankers, a lot of them. They are evil. They are so mean. They happy slap porpoises for the crack. They do. They actually will beat up porpoises. There was just this one big kind of news show down in uh, Australia where there was this guy and he was surfing and there were these evil sharks, because of course sharks are evil because they got pointy teeth. And these sharks attacked the surfer and they were like, oh, but these dolphins came along and saved him. And it wasn't, no, no, we didn't catch what happened like two hours beforehand. Two hours beforehand, same shark tried to eat baby dolphin from the pod of dolphins. Dolphins were like, hang on a second now, fuck that, we're not having that comes over, interrupts the shark's fucking dinner, and says, fuck you, we're gonna fuck you up now because you had a go at our guy. And that's what happened. They didn't give a shit that the shark was trying to eat a human. They were getting back at the shark for trying to eat one of their own earlier on. So yeah, no, no, flipper, fuck you. So anyway, chimps, oh come on, monkeys. Everyone loves monkeys. No, no, I'm sorry. No. Everyone's like, ah. oh no, we don't like the monkeys either. Oh no, this lady's really angry. Um, monkey, okay, wait, right. first of all, they bite, they're, they're, you know, we, we, I suppose when we see monkeys, we see other apes, like chimps and things, we see a lot of them in captivity, we see them raised by humans, so they have these kind of human traits, but in the wild, again, these animals only want to do one thing, and that is tear your face off, that's all they want to do, chimps are so, so evil, they're very, very dangerous, they're very, very strong. A human could not wrestle down a chimp if they tried. Their skeleton are four times heavier than a human. So we literally, they bring, they have, they have power over us in terms of strength. Also means 
they can't swim. They can't naturally float. Chimps hate the water, they stay away. Chimp group in Dublin Zoo. Anyone been to Dublin Zoo? Yeah. Seen the chimps? What do the chimps live on? An island, yeah, absolutely lovely big open enclosure. No kind of, you know, bars, no grills. They're out in a lake because, you know, it's a natural barrier for chimps. They hate water. What did the head male of the group do a couple of years ago to his brother? Held him underwater because he wanted to be the alpha male and his brother Daniel was the alpha male. And like, ha, ah, fuck you, you can't swim. I'm alpha male now. This is what they do to their own brothers. This is what they do to their... They're just so... Forget- and people are always like, oh, they're just so cute. Look at them. No. They're evil. Re- repeat after me. They're evil. They're evil. Oh, I like it. I'm like, I'm so angry. It's great. Oh, now. Now, moose. Now, not, not all that you eat. Obviously, you know, the big moose animals. They are just the wasters of the animal kingdom. In Scandinavia, in the late summer, they just basically get high on fermented fruit. Okay, and then they are a fucking liability because you've got hundreds of pounds of meat and antler just doesn't know where to fucking put its hooves. They cause more traffic deaths than anything else in that season in Scandinavia. They land themselves up in trees. They're just a freaking disaster. They're a danger to humans. But people think moose, oh moose, they look lovely. They look kind of like dopey. No, they're, they're just, you're that guy who's a bit of crack. And he's on a night out. You know, everyone, everyone always kind of, he's always like, being a bit of a dick, but everyone just kind of goes, Ash, that's just so, that's, that's just Tom, like, he's just mad. You know? and, and, and you always kind of like, just forgive his humour. That's what moose are to the animal world. They're just that guy who just ruins the night out for everyone, and everyone goes, Ah, sure, he's just a bit, you know, he's just a bit mad. Ah, sure, Ash, he's harmless, really. That's what moose are. They're just, oh, they're just awful. I mean, like a lot of people kind of, you know, okay, snakes, we don't like snakes because they're hissy and they bite you and things like that. And obviously, you know, big cats are kind of dangerous, big teeth, going to eat you and stuff like that. Seals. Ah, ah, seals. Ah, seals. I, I, I'm going there. I'm so going there. They're, like, seals are dangerous. They're very, very curious, and, and, and like the ones we get in Ireland, they nip at you and all the rest of it. There's one species called a leopard seal down in Antarctica. It hunts and kills humans and eats them. It is the most dangerous thing. It has killed several researchers down in Antarctica. They're so evil. So they have been known to actually track someone across the ice. So if you go, ah, leopard seal, and you're running away across the sea ice, they go, I'm not going to go huh, 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 across the ice. I'll never catch them. No, I'll go under the ice. I'll look up. I'll follow their shadow from underneath. And then I'll jump out at them! And that's what they do. And that's, and, and, and that's, how, that's how they get. And they very successfully kill humans every year. Absolutely every year. So we see dolphins, yeah, bad. Chimps, rubbish. Koalas, boring. Leopard seals, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Now, here's, this might split the room. Seagulls. So you go, who has been to Beshoffs in Holt and made the mistake of going across the road, sitting on the wall and eating their chips? Oh yeah, we've all been there. Hold on, everyone raise their hands. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 we've been there, we've been there. But you know what? Seagulls aren't that bad. We cause that problem. Because if you live in town or you come through to town in the mornings, you'll see bin bags out and you'll see peck marks at the bottom of the, and there's like shite all over the place. We've left all this food out for the seagulls. So the seagulls have learned from us, humans equal food. And then they get a bit bolder and they learn, humans, not gonna chase us away. Humans, oh, they might throw us a chip. Humans, give us your fucking food right now, right? <laughs> you know? So, and, and, so we cause that problem. So when we think of animals that are like evil and nasty, sometimes we're at the root of it. And then the really, really fluffy fuckers, they're the ones you wanna watch. It's always them, you really, really wanna watch them. Bunny rabbits. Bunny ra- oh yeah, I'm going there. Bunny rabbits. Ah, oh. hmm. Very tasty. Very tasty. Oh yeah. So you nothing like oh rabbit stew down Ches Max. Gorgeous. Oh I love it. No, but rabbits again. Lovely. They're every kid. Lovely, lovely bunnies. Lovely bunny with Easter bunnies. <laughs> they have ruined habitats in Ireland. They are not native to Ireland. They were brought over by the Normans for food, and they fucking wrecked the gaff. Just laid waste to the place. Brought in a mix of toast, then they managed to nearly all wipe themselves out and then come back in again. Another other animal that gets a really, really bad rap is grey squirrels. Yeah, okay, they're, 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 the evil grey squirrel going around. When I was a kid, they were like, oh yeah, the grey squirrels, they come along and they eat the red squirrels and they eat everything and they go away and they go over there. Ah. No, 
No. Someone brought a few grey squirrels over. They run off and have babies. Why wouldn't they? Should scray crack. Off you go into the wild. And so what? They can eat a few more things that the red squirrel can't. They don't go around maliciously murdering the red squirrels. But, you know, this is what people think still. And, you know, poor old badgers ever get an awful bad rap as well and all this sort of thing. So people's ideas of what an evil animal is and what a lovely animal is. I mean, Jesus Christ. And, like, I have to put up with this every day. I, I work in uh, the museums, in the Natural History Museum, and I just get kids flopping up to me every day. And I just spend the whole day just wrecking kids' dreams and lives. It's great. It's great. Because they go, well, I, I, what about this one? Oh yeah, oh yeah, wait till I tell you. Ducks, oh frickin' hell. Ducks, lads, ducks. Necrophilia, that's, I'm gonna throw that out there now for you. <laughs> ducks, mallard ducks, the ones we get up in Stevens Green, right? They are, the males are so horny and they will go for any female. They will actually ride her till she's dead. And they will keep going. Yeah, oh, it's not funny, man. It's not very funny. It's not funny, shame on you. I'm gonna bring it down. So that's sad, sad, that's sad. No, but they were, they're, they're, they're just freaks. And so you got all the little kids going, oh, the ducks, oh, the bread, the bread of the ducks. Yeah, just like sex, rape, Mary, rapists, all in that pond over there. Love it. But you can't tell the kids that. So you're like, yeah, it's a duck. It's the mammy duck and the daddy duck and the, the baby ducklings and they all live happily. I want to tell them about sex. I want to tell them about No, don't do that. Because, you know, you know, teachers and parents kind of frown on that kind of, you know, behaviour. Um, so, yeah, but, I mean, you get, you get, there is the odd child that will actually give it back to you. And um, one, of the, one of the funniest times I ever had, and this is slightly going off topic, but I had a kid, group's kid, group of kids, and one of the kids was a creationist. And uh, we were in the Natural History Museum doing a tour. And uh, so I was going, ah, death, destruction, adaption, ooh, evolution, ooh. And uh, I just kept, kept getting this hand going, all right, all right, all right. And he, he would just like put me down on everything I was trying to say. It was completely wrecking my buzz. And um, when I finished the tour, he was like, start, start, can, can I just come up there? And I was like, oh, yeah, come on up here. And he just turned his back on me and addressed his whole class going, I just want to say what this girl was saying was lies because, you know, um, uh, you know, everything was created and he just went off in this creation spirit. But the best part, the whole best part of it was the entire group of kids went, oh, fuck. <laughs> So they're obviously just getting this every day from this kid. It's hilarious. So that's what I love about kids. They're, they're, they can be self-policing like that. They're just going to go, oh, 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 Christ, Jesus. But yeah, so animals, not the greatest things in the world. People sometimes as well. I mean, a lot of the biologists will say, and I have, I have a few friends who are botanists, and they're like, what about the plants? They go, like, no one gives a shit about plants. You know, they, 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 you can't stroke, you can't keep one for a pet. You know, they, you're, no, no. And generally, they just die when you put them in a house. Anyway, so who gives a shit? But yeah, animals, not always fluffy and nice, not always worth saving. Flipping pandas, oh, I nearly forgot about the pandas. Oh my God, yeah, okay, you're gonna be a panda, but you're gonna be a vegetarian. Okay, bears, where's the protein gonna come from? I don't know, woo, you know, now you're endangered and you're worried about it. There you go. Actually, one, one class did say to me when I was explaining to them about how, oh yeah, you know, well, uh, the female only comes in Easter's every so often and then, you know, she won't just mate with anybody. And one girl decided to be that's because she's classy. That <laughs> uh, <laughs> was brilliant. And I was like, no, it's because they're dumb and stupid and are going to go endangered anytime soon. But there we go. So animals, I know, that, I know I should be a zoologist. I should be loving animals. I should think they're all fabulous and uh, that we should all protect animals and you know I'm, okay I'm not advocating animal cruelty don't go out shooting things and stripping things down and you know doing it like a whole kind of Game of Thrones yoke you know dire wolves or whatever but I will say every time you see a nice fluffy animal and think ah oh, think twice because you could have a violent evil killer on your hands thank you very much